Now what we're going to do, the very first thing we're going to do on this, uh, now that we've gone through all of our menus and all that stuff, and we, like I said, we barely touched on things, we're going to get deeper. So I just, I want to get, sorry, I want to get into this, so let's do it, okay? Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to adjust this layer. And now right here, we can go to um, filters. No, we can go to select. I don't even know where this stuff is. I never use these menus up here, okay? So we're not even going to use them, okay? What we're going to do, we're looking for our adjustment layers. And uh, it might be in here. Let's see. Layers, layers, new adjustment layers. So we can go to new adjustment layers, levels, curves, color balance, brightness. We could do that, okay? Uh, or we can bring up um, our our boxes. Our, like, let's bring up levels. We can bring up levels for the image. And this is our levels box. So we can mess with it. What levels does is you, you can add... You can, you can add brightness to it by bringing this slider in here. You can add darkness to it by bringing this slider here. And this is the histogram. This is the same kind of histogram you see on the back of your camera. So this exposure is considered dark, but you'll see that it's not really dark. It's just that she's a dark skinned person on dark background. So the layers, the, the histograms, you know, asking for whites. But I can bump up some whites in here to bring this in. And then this right here will, will bring up my midtones. So this affects my blacks. This affects my whites. And this affects my midtones. Now I don't want to use this straight out of the straight out of the levels dialog box. I, I don't want to do it because it will it will forever change my pixels. So um, if I click OK, now this is changed. If I bring up levels the box again, you'll see my levels are all changed. And these little lines aren't good. And what you you know I could do it again and it'll mess it up. So so it's it's degrading the picture as it goes. Um, it, it's not noticeable at first, but you know the more you do stuff like that, the more it degrades it. What I want to do is over here, there's this little uh, circle with a line through it, and this is um, adjustment layers. So what this will do is it'll it'll make an adjustment layer, and it's the same thing. It's going to be the same tool, the same same goods here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this up like this, bring this over, and see. I'm just seeing that I'm just seeing that it's uh, here's my preview. If I want to see what it's doing, I press the preview, and I see it's it's just brightening it up a little bit. And I don't know how much that's that you're seeing at, at home on the internet and whatnot, but it it's making a difference, okay? I'm gonna bring it up just a little bit and just a little bit, and there I brightened up the picture slightly. Now I wanna mess with the color on it. So I come over here and I go right here, the, where's my color balance? And what this is gonna do is it's got mid-tones, highlights, and shadows, okay? And uh, the images are made up of what's called the, the RGB color um, scheme or uh, color something <laughs> the, the color space is RGB and what that means is it's red green and blue all these every color comes from reds greens and blues being mixed together in certain ways and that's what makes all the colors uh, come through it's all just based down to red green and blue if you look here in your in your channels you'll see that there's a red channel and oops oh I gotta turn this off if you look over here in your channels you'll see that there's a red channel uh, red, green, and blue. And they all come up black and white, and that'll make sense at some time in the near future. But anyhow, reds, greens, and blues all mixed together to make all the colors that you see on your computer. So you're only using those colors. Now there's the opposite of those colors, and the opposite of those colors are, if you see here, here's your red, your green, and your blue, are cyan, magenta, and yellow. Um, if you're familiar with other color spaces, you might recognize those as the CMYK color space. They're the opposite of the RGB, which it's, it's cool. It all, everything all works together. Anyhow, our reds, I think this picture is a little too red and a little too blue. So what we're going to do, it's very simple in our midtones. We're going to start with our midtones and we're going to move. We're taking away red, which is adding cyan. And if we go all the way over here, you see it gets very cyan. If we bring it back all the way over here, it gets very red. Now what we're going to do, we want to take away some of those reds. So we'll move it, and it's very sensitive, so you don't want to do it too much, too fast. So we're going to go about 19 for now, okay? And then it's also got yellows in it. A lot of times pictures are, are orange. They come in orange, and, and skin tones are off. And when you see it, it doesn't look that bad, actually. But after when we're all done here, you'll see how, how much it, it really helps out, okay? So I'm going to move this right here. Uh, we're, going to take, we're going to add blue, which is taking away yellow. And then we're going to go to the highlights. If the midtones were off, the highlights are probably off. And we're just going to do it a little bit. Highlights are very sensitive, so if you do it a lot, you'll start seeing a lot of this color. So we're going to do it right about here. We're going to do 16. And this is going to be different for every image that you come across, So you know, and even to your own liking on, on the very same images. So um, we're going to bring this to right around here. And then we're going to go to the shadows, and the shadows affects mainly the darker areas in the picture. Uh, highlights is going to affect these right here, You know, these, these highlights, these things right here. So 
Anyhow, we're gonna go to the shadows, and if you see see how all the darks, all the darks blew up, and all the darks yellow up, and there's darks and everything, and there's lights and everything, so you know it's gonna affect the whole picture, but mostly these uh, dark areas. Then we're gonna bring in some cyan and kapow. So here's the difference. Here's where it is now. It looks a lot more contrasty. The colors, it looks more alive. It's more vibrant. When it started, you don't see the difference as it's happening, but when we look at it, it I mean, this is this is to me, it's far superior of an image than that. So I'm gonna press OK, and we're not done. We're gonna do more color correction, okay? We're going to do, um, we're gonna come down here and we're gonna get hue and saturation, okay? And now in hue and saturation, um, saturation is basically how, how vibrant the colors are, how, how much they stand out. And you'll see as I, as I bring this up, you see the reds coming in and, and everything, if I bring it up too much, everything seems to glow and pulsate with color. Uh, all the blues are coming up, that there's hidden blues and there's hidden, there's hidden colors that you don't see. If I bring it all the way down, the saturation's all the way down, you get a black and white. But this is not a way to make a black and white. There is a far better way to make a black. This is a way, but it's not the way to make a black and white, okay? Um, now, this is the saturation tool right here, okay? Uh, what I'm gonna do here is, that was for all the colors at once, but you can select individual colors, like here, I'm gonna select the reds, because reds are do a lot, have a lot to do with her skin. But what I can also do is grab this eyedropper tool here and select exactly her skin tone by clicking that and you see this right here these are the colors that are going to be affected there's a lot of yellows oranges and reds because that's what's in skin and now if I bring up the saturation just those colors go you see your hair is not being affected now if I bring it up it looks it looks very nice she has a lot of nice skin tones and then if I bring up this lightness here the lightness I could take the lightness of those reds all the way to completely light or all the way to completely dark now there's a lot you can do so so your creativity can start kicking in once you see what these things do uh, but I'm going to bring it just a little bit light right about there, okay? Now we're going to preview that, what we did. So it's very, it's very subtle, but a lot of subtle things make for a very beautiful picture in the end, okay? So uh, this is what we did here. We're going to actually go to our yellows, and we're going to mess with our yellows a little bit. And we are going to, you don't want to lose yellows in the skin. You don't want to use, you don't want to lose these, these colors. Um, one thing that, that sneaks up is blues, all right? Now, now, it doesn't look like there's blues, but if we bring the cyan up, you'll see there are cyans in the picture. They're all over the place. And it really cleans up the picture if you bring your cyans down to around the 70 to, to 80, um, per, well, not percent, it's just minus 70. Blues, same thing. We're going to look at blues. We're going to bring them all the way up to see where they are. There they are. There's blues all over the place. And if you bring it down, it really, like, it, it takes away this this cold cast that you had, that, that you don't even notice until you take it away. So then you turn it on and off and there we go. So things are looking good. We're coming along here. If we ever want to see where we started from, we, here's our start point. We just come over here, we hold down the Alt key, which on a PC is option, uh, and we click that. And this is where we started from and this is where we are now. So we haven't gone extremely far, but we've gone pretty decent here, okay?